get back to work or when did it actually start? No, yeah, for sure. So we had that one week where we were back in with the guys. We split the vacation up this year. And when we were back in with the guys, I mean, you could feel the energy. These guys were chomping at the bit. We were chomping at the bit. Um, of course, we, it was nice to get a little more family time. But, I mean, by the time July hits, we, let, let's go. We're ready to roll. Let's, Did it show season. today in day one with the, the guys that they were prepared and there weren't missteps or wrong angles or that sort of thing? No question. Really, both sides of the ball. I was actually really happy. Uh, our offense gave us a lot of looks, and our defense was making a lot of calls. And for our first day, uh, it was very, very positive. Taylor said he's been working a lot on the pass covers. That's been the big priority this the offseason. How much has he improved on that? He, he's improved big time. Yeah. Um, I mean, you guys can see he's, he's a big guy. I think he's up to 213, almost 215 pounds now. His strength is obviously his striking, his ball skills, and, and his tackling. Probably our best tackler on the team last year. And so. I would say it's a weakness, but of course his pass covered skills, he just wants to become better at that, whether it's a slot, a tight end, or, or even a receiver that flex out. He says he thinks he, or he, he's guessing he might play a little nickel this year, is that something you envision for him? That's good. He's really, he's really going to play, <laughs> he's really going to play a lot of positions. Okay. He's going to play a lot of positions. Um, you know, if you guys remember even going back to last year when he really started breaking into the lineup, he played three different positions. and so. He's going to do the same thing this year. We're going to have him all over the field. It's all based on game plan and, uh, you know, very similar to what we did with uh, Budabaker last year. Um, you know, you can see him to the left side or the right side. If there's a running back or a receiver wanting to cover, he's going to be on that side of the, of the field. This it's going to be fun to use him. This program has lost big time players on defense before and recovered oh, yeah. fine. You know, I think a lot of people are looking at Kevin, Sidney, mm -hmm. Buda all leaving. Going, how, can there, how can there possibly not be a drop off from the secondary? How do you respond to that? You know, I, I'm excited with this group. I think this is going to be one of the most competitive camps we've ever had. I told that those, to those guys about five five hours ago in our first meeting. We, I'm very, very excited about this group. And I think they're all going to push each other. They're going to hold each other to a high standard. Now, some of these guys never played college football. We're going to have to all see what it looks like uh, when we fly over to New Jersey. But I'm very, very excited. But we still got to go get the job done. What did you say about Miles Bryant when you offered him in high school and then he's basically worked that he had to walk on and earn his way and now he's basically earned his way. What did you see from him? What have you seen from him throughout this, that process to, to earn his scholarship and what are your impressions of him? I mean, first thing is he just kept his head down and just worked his tail off. I mean, worked his tail off. I mean, you guys see this guy in the weight room, out on the practice field. And then you go out to, to training camp. He's making plays on the ball, led us in interceptions last fall camp. And made plays this spring, made plays at the end of games last year. You could just tell this guy belongs in the Pac-12. He earned it, and uh, I'm excited for him. With Taylor Rapp at 215, mm -hmm. JoJo showed up at 175 when he's back on campus, and now he's at 220. Yep. Zeke is listed at 215, but he looks much bigger. Yeah, he does. <laughs> when you've got that much size okay. and safety, what does that enable you to do with the defense? Yeah, I mean, not only are they big, they are very, very physical. That is three of the more physical guys you're, you'll see in the country. And, uh, you know, I think we're going to be very, very, uh, very, very tough through the middle. That's that's what it is. I mean, when running backs come through, receivers are running crossing routes, I would I would, I would look out. Uh, I, th I think these guys are, are physical playmakers, and with the added size, um, you know, it's going to be it's going to be tough for guys to run over the middle. Yogi 